Okay, I think it's time for me to pick Nick back up here, at least for the short term. Try to get that affinity up a little bit. If he gets to be annoying, then we'll do something else. Interestingly, I tried to send uh, Ada away, and then she didn't go. We should go our separate ways. I'd prefer to remain by your side, but I'll abide by your command. Oh, but so you don't get to send her anywhere? Heads up. Yes, sir. Hey, Ada. Yes, sir. That didn't work at all. So that's like, well, let's see. If I, if I pick up a, a companion, then she won't have a whole lot of choice. Otherwise, I'll just walk around with two. <laughs> Ooh, okay, well, maybe we can just use that chain gun one more time here. That was... What went? How am I getting XP now? Just getting next. Did she just toast and stuff, or? No, this isn't the way. There we go. Come on up. Get super mutants to toast. Really? Okay, is she just taking care of business? Violence protocols engaged. Ah, so he... What Should do something, right? <laughs> she does have some appeal, there's no question about it. Interested in traveling together? Would be nice, the two of us getting out there again. Let's head out. Well, all right. All right, now we can send Ada, of course, to the castle. See you, Ada. Don't get caught in the corn. Now, I'll tell you what, this robot here probably makes me almost as bad as the Mechanist. Because what you got here is you got a, an unstable chain laser gun, dual fat man launchers, and a lightning gun that will go from target to target whether it's friendly or unfriendly, and I've made him a traitor just to wander the I wasteland. Your silence means you're in deep thought. Take your time. Yes, I am in deep thought. Oh, and he's got the Mesmetron thing going. So, Lightning Bill, this is heading... I think he heads out to the Finch area where they have problems periodically. So... Actually, I'll be back later. Very well, sir. Just keep doing what you're doing. Which poses an interesting question. Here I am. I'm setting robots loose on the universe across the whole thing, which makes me as bad as the Mechanist, and I'm using them to replace human jobs, which is essentially what the Institute's doing. So, I mean, exactly who should I side with in this uh, whole endeavor? No, not them. Um, the problem with the Institute, and this is a spoiler alert here, if anyone wants to not know what the Institute has been doing, 
is the uh, they've been killing people and then replacing them with robots, which I'm not re killing anyone replacing them with a robot. That's secret, you know, a secret robot that looks like a human. I'm putting some actual robots out there doing the job that humans really are, uh, it's going to be rough for them to do, like wandering the wasteland and being, you know, attacked by raiders. So I, I think, if anything, I've come to a more pure form of what the, the Institute was going for before they got completely off track. I, I, really after a complete loss of faith in humanity, I think, is really what the problem is with the Institute. They don't trust that humanity can be the source of the solution. It's They, they really think, well, a few bits of humanity, us, the Institute, are the source of the solution. It's really an issue with pride, and that's, uh, that's what makes the Institute a problem. Same deal over here. Don't trust anybody to handle anything on their own. It's a, it's a big issue with pride. To a certain extent, you know, the, the railroad is uh, in a similar situation that, you know, they're so cold, they're closed off from just about everybody else, which is why I'm going to end up siding with the Minutemen, because the Minutemen are one of the only groups that really are say, hey, look, we're all people here. Let's work together. This is a black night, everybody. Have a great night. And one last little bonus here for you. We've got the olive green paint. We've got the, uh, the Cyclops Helm and the Robobrain for the Mesmertron attack. We've got an unstable laser gatling, an unstable machine gun with exploding bullets. He's got Robobrain arms. He's got Voltaic armor, except for the, the Grim armor. This one increases resistance a little bit. Voltaic Mr. Handy Thruster. He's going to man one of those cannons, one of the, uh, one of the artillery pieces. And we're going to rename him, and you know... I just simply had to do this. <laughs> Any buddy Hackett fans out there? Seriously. Google that that's my duck joke. Funniest thing ever. Okay, what the hell's going on here? Well, they should be right in front of me. Things spawn under the ground. I think that's what's happening here. Well, let's see if we can kite them out of the ground. Nick, we're going to try something. OK. 
Okay, so nuclear explosions have brought in a Brotherhood squad. Something just happened. Or maybe the radiation will slowly kill them. Although they shouldn't be affected by radiation. Or did the Brotherhood kill one, like, magically? Get right on top of them? I mean, that's. That car doesn't have any fuel. Okay, let's let's try something else. What's this up here? Oh dear, that's where all those super mutants hang out. Are there any? Okay, let's try a fast travel and travel back. I'm trying to think how to glitch it back out. Run before the super mutants come back, which they will eventually. Ah, Aqua Boy. The powers of the Aqua Boy. Robots? I have an idea, but it's kind of a warped one. We shall see if to find a good place for this. Which there isn't a lot. food. Settler, on a sign. Well, you, sir, are getting an assignment. Okay. Or men. I'm sorry. It was the hat. Now, <coughs> now the main hope is that just traveling around like this, they will have popped out of the ground I can just shoot them. Plan B. We're gonna drop artillery on them. Plan C is a little bit expensive. Uh, so much for plan A. Looks like it's right... Right here. It's under an overpass, which is kind of a problem for Plan B, isn't it? Well, that would be an interesting experiment. Depending on the angles involved. Can we kite them over... here, maybe? Trying to get it 
a little out from under and maybe here. Smoke's out. We want to back up. I know I'm not going to put the radio on simply because <coughs> I don't want another radiant quest. Oh, there's somebody up there. There they are! <laughs> but it worked! <laughs> Completed Rogue Robot. Excellent. Plan B worked. I didn't even have to... Well, if you get you're curious as to what, um, no, not that, what, uh, plan B was. Here, I thought they were under me, and they were above me the whole time. Should have thought of that. <laughs> Cars are blowing up. Nice. Is there any way to actually get up there? Um... Uh... Maybe. It will be elaborate. And then you... So it might actually be possible to scrap these suckers. Get the stuff. Dead trucks. Just a swarm bot. There should be one more up here. At least. I don't think that was a swarm bot that I saw. Unless one was under the ground. Still, that's kind of funny. I always like it when things kind of work out to my benefit, even though it's not how I understood it or what I intended. Did all the explosions blow them completely off the, the ledge? No. <laughs> Maybe we called it an art artillery strike on a single robot. That possible? Do not fall. Well, that was interesting. Oh, the dangers of the rogue robot quests. There had to be more than one, though. Had to be. I guess we'll know. Sometimes you lose the bodies. Guess that's not edible. On that note, this is the Black Knight, everybody. Have a good night. What the? Rust Devils? Alright, well at least there's some excitement. Where am I being shot from? I can't even... Take cover, take cover, take cover. Do the Rust Devils normally show up? Where the heck am I being shot from? Alright, what have I got? I'm shooting shot from underground now or something? Where the hell is Nick? I see a robot. It's just rocks and barrels. Too many robots. This isn't good. This looks like a Radstorm's, uh... How oh, there you are! 
pile of schmutz. Alright, before this gets hectic. Are we done? Yeah, let's get the hell out. Stop by the Abernathy's. What's now what? Someone do something. Something's out there. Okay. Is it something dangerous or is it a bug? No! It's a dog. Look at all the blood. It's a couple dogs biting a cow. Hi, how are you? It's good to know you're still good people. Shooting dogs. That's what we. That's what this uh, battle complex was called in for. To get rid of a wild mongrel. <laughs> On that note, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night. If it's not one thing, it's another. Well, gotta run.